how to rig the do live stick 6 inch with the owner twist lock 6 on. So basically you just grab yourself one of the hooks, it's got a screw in the top, okay you want to make sure you've got the lure the right way up so the the um, the white on this particular lure the white um, belly of the lure has a load of little pinholes in it um, basically where the barb of the hook will slide through okay and then it will rest in the top in, the, in a groove in the top of the lure okay so basically you grab the screw and you just insert the screw in the center pin and you just rotate it around you just twist it around you just twist it around and it's just sort of you just right to the top okay and then you see where it sort of sits all right, so you've got your hook like so. All right, so this hook wants to go through one of the belly holes. All right, what I do, I just line it up roughly where it's going to go through to select which hole is going to sort of do it the best. It's one of these holes at the back here. So all I do is just find one of them and then sit it up vertically upright. I look to go through the center the back and then that's it and then it just sits like so okay you can see that too oh, it's just a bit. I so you can see it gone through the belly there through the top and all you do quite simply grab yourself some um, clip and you just attach it like that and cast it out a little genie clip or you can tie your main line to it quick change clip and that's it he'll just come along and grab it and the hook's just there look. it's a big hook as well and that's it, and that's how you rig a, um, a soft plastic with a weedless hook. Okay. And um, you can use five, on these six inch ones, you can use five O hooks. Um, Savage Gear do some. Savage Gear, I've got some um, gravity stick pintails. You can add weights to these lures. You can, if you just tie your, your mono onto the actual hook itself, on, on the here on the hook you could attach like a, um, um, a bullet head lead with a stop knot to keep it in place to add like 10 grams to it if you want to get the lure to sink a bit better these do on the, when the fish like this they do tend to sort of hover the, to stick to the surface a bit which is ideal for sort of shallow kelpy sort of areas or even night fishing and things like that but there you go so that's that's just a um, show you how to rig a, rig the um, the weedless hook